What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are doing a reaction video to the history of Patronus and Formula One. We've had quite a few requests on doing a reaction video to Patronus Formula One. So uh, a couple of guys have sent us links to this video. It's not our personal video, and it is another YouTuber's channel. Uh, we are going to link him in the description along with our Patreon. We've got it down to $1. If you guys want to subscribe to our Patreon, it is a small amount of money for you, but it's going to go a long way for us and helping us build our channel up. Uh, also, if y'all can continue to pound that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that bell notification, the little ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. ding -a -ling -a -ling. go ahead and pound that as well. And also, we love the comments. Keep on sending us some more comments and some ideas on videos. Um, and then, of course, please share it. Yes. Y'all are helping us out so much. We've gotten some pretty unique shares that we've found out. Uh, but we really appreciate everything that y'all have done so far. And we hope that y'all will continue being so gracious to us. So, let's jump on in. Let's do it. Right, look, apologies in advance for my red eyes and the, the sweat. It is boiling in the UK at the minute. And I don't do well nice to have that with mic. the old flowers. The old pollen gets me right in the eyes. Anyway, I wanted to bring one of these videos for a while now. I haven't done a company profile for a hot minute. You know what I mean? So I thought I'd have a look. What, what companies out there don't have many kind of deep dives into not just them as a company, because anyone can find that out, but their actual history in Formula One. Kind of like I did with the Red Bull video, so give that a watch if you haven't already. Today we are talking about Wait, Patronus, the no. title sponsor like of him. the Mercedes Formula One team, where they started in Formula One and where they are today. Please drop a like on the video if you're enjoying it, subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos just like this one. Let's get into it. So Patronus is a Malaysian oil and gas company established in 1974. Yep. Their actual name is Petroleum National acronyms down Petroleum to the Patronus. Yeah. They are 100% government owned and run by the Malaysian oh. government, kind of like Gazprom in Russia. On the 2019 Fortune Global 500, they're ranked 158th largest company in the world. So they're pretty big business. Petron Gas is their game. They're headquartered in the Petronas Towers in Malaysia, which were the tallest buildings in the world from 98 to 2004 when Taipei 101 came along. As much as I'm terrified of heights, I like tall buildings. I don't know, I'm really into like looking at what the next big thing is, quite literally. So that's enough about the company itself. What about their actual involvement in Formula One with Mercedes? Because they're not just a title sponsor. They deliver a little bit more than just a name on the side of that car. So they provide all the fuel and the fuel lubricants and oils and all that good stuff. All that liquid gold. I like this guy's personality. To the Mercedes team. Yeah. No need for Shell, Mobile One, Castrol, with Mercedes. Hence why you don't see those names on the car. That's okay. interesting. So it's so self-sufficient. What's their mm -hmm. history? Where did they start? Well, if you saw my Red Bull video, you'll know that Red Bull started their official F1 sponsorship back in 1995 with Sauber. Also did Patronus. Ah. That was their first year. Their inaugural season, 95, with Salva. That's why the Red driver on that for Patronus Formula Salva 1 said that he was Beautiful with car. Red Bull Beautiful before. Beautiful car. That makes the a lot more sense. The team name was the Red Bull Salva Patronus Formula 1 team. Patronus provided the oil and lubricants for the Ford engine in that car as well. Salva hmm. were actually planning on developing their very own Ferrari. engine. Which he was with Ferrari amazing. before. That, that gotcha. could have led on to amazing things going forward, having a Sauber engine. It never materialised. They were going to do it with Patronus, but there was an Asian financial crisis, which obviously massively affected Patronus being Malaysian, and so they pulled out of that venture. But they kept on sponsorship. They sponsored the Sauber team for 14 years in total. 14 years? That's probably older than some of you watching. <laughs> no. So in 95, <laughs> they just had a little sponsorship on the rear wing. They kind of owned the rear wing of that car. But then in 96, they jumped up significantly. Nice big side pods, Patronus, with their trademark teal like alongside the blue of the Red Bull. Yeah. And the livery didn't really change the much until BMW worked bought Worked together that. very I mean, well. In 2001, you got a bit more of a white nose comb when Credit Suisse came in and took a bit of that Red Bull ownership of the sponsor. But... But otherwise, it didn't really 
movement. That's interesting. And that of course, I did put that 2001 livery take, as number get 10 like a certain amount of space. Mm -hmm. liveries are the brands, I guess. Decade. They did hang around when BMW bought out Sauber and kind of owned that team from 2006 to 2009, producing some beautiful liveries yeah. with the Patronus sponsorship kind of on the side and on the See, that works well. together too. And then after they did 14 a good job years, of that. In kind of a BMW that season, blue. Mercedes bought out Braun and Patronus were like, let's jump on that. They jumped into bed with Mercedes, became title sponsors and have been ever since. That's that must have been that little quite streak the hit of for Sauber, not only to lose BMW turquoise. as their kind of title, not even title sponsors, just kind of owners of the team essentially, but to also lose Patronus. And that started a pretty weak period of liveries for the Sauber F1 team, if you ask me. But at least they survived, which is the most important thing. Now, I've got no idea, but this is a little theory I've got in terms of why Patronus moved to Mercedes away from Sauber. Not only they may have envisaged Where's Salva from? Success that Mercedes would have. We'll have to look that up. A manufacturer. Yeah. But also, the thing is, you look at Patronus Actually, on the, on the comment down most in the of that period. It's a very bright bottom, car. Let us it's know very colorful car. about it's a Salva. It's a fun-looking vehicle. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a slick, clinical, you know, sleek-looking vehicle. And again, there's no right or wrong, but I think... Patronus's brand positioning. They wanted to be a little bit more clinical, a little bit more sleek, a little bit more professional. And being alongside Red Bull on that bright car, even He's though got one know, of those strong car, uh, but stereotypical yeah. Mercedes, accent. They, they that looks insanely that good. And it looked really smart and really clean. So I think them looking to reposition the brand or, or establish that positioning as a you know Mercedes level kind of brand is a big part of why they moved. It's almost like the opposite of what McLaren did. McLaren were very corporate and clinical and, and clean with the silver and the, the Vodafone. And then they've kind of gradually moved away from that and gone and embraced the orange and trying to be more fun and out with their brands. And that, that's McLaren's decision. That's what they've decided to do. So that's Patronus. What about their future in Formula 1? Because obviously when you talk about a gas and oil-based company, when you talk about the future, that's a difficult thing to really know because that industry seems to have a lot of... Uh, you don't know where that industry is going to be in 50 years time so as far as what i've read and and seen online patronus have a contract with mercedes till the end of this season 2020 they haven't confirmed anything beyond that officially did they resign well, i'd be very surprised if they didn't continue their hmm. partnership because again the the success of the mercedes team has done wonders for both mercedes and Patronus. It's established Mercedes is a proper like performance brand. Which I'm pretty sure they did. A bit of an old man brand, let's be honest, before Mercedes took the team over, if you ask me. They've definitely done bits in terms of turning that Why hasn't Purdue done a Formula like, 1 car? You know, being on know. the side of, of the, the dominant car, a car that will be looked at for years down the line. You know what I mean? That's going to have done their brand a lot of favours, a lot of good. But there you go. What do you think of Patronus? Do you think they will be an iconic sponsor in years to come when we look back like Marlboro, you know, like Benetton? Those That's are funny, these sponsors. Will Patronus hold that kind <laughs> of those. place in people's hearts? Because, I mean, I think the car looks great. Not so much the 2020, to be honest. I think the 2019 was an absolute beauty. Don't get me wrong. 2020, eh. Um, but all in all, I think the Mercedes look pretty good. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this one. It's been fun. Hair's literally starting to curl at the back now. Oh, mate, I'm desperate for a trim, man. My name's been Tomo. Hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I like this guy. Yeah, I like him a lot. All that bloody good stuff. Yeah, he knows his Formula One. He does. I was just as interested in his accent and, and watching him talk as I was the actual video. Yeah, it was a great video. He did a, a fantastic job on that video. Yeah, we will definitely link him down below. I'm uh, Based off of how many comments we got to react to this video, I'm sure most of you already watch him. Yeah. Formula One, unfortunately, isn't as popular in the States as it is uh, abroad. Um, we do actually have a Formula One or MotoGP. It, they do both. Uh, I think it's the uh, something of the Americas. Uh, it's like the track of the Americas or something like that down by Austin, Texas. Um, and they're struggling to keep it open, to be perfectly honest, because it costs so much money to um, have the MotoGP circuit come and Formula One, for that matter. It's an insane cost. Yeah, I can imagine. It's in the middle of nowhere, too, so it doesn't really help. Um, but no, this thing looks phenomenal. Um, I want to see a picture of the 2020, go ahead and pull up the picture of the 2020 Patronus 
uh, Mercedes car. I want it because he said that that one wasn't as nice as the. Uh, um, and I'm gonna just post a picture like right here of it. Um, I'm not gonna. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh yeah, That's what is sick. he talking about? That's insane. Okay, pull up the 2019 on a different screen. Yeah, it looks like the same to me. Maybe maybe there's some hints of difference. I can't tell from the side of that. Oh, no, but that's a different color scheme than these. Yeah. Maybe that's it. it. Click on that one again. It looks the same to me. I mean, that's basically the same car. Yeah. I like this. Oh, right I, yeah. Oh, I think it looks insane. Both of them look insane. I can't tell the difference, but I'm an idiot, so an that's intake. not saying much. Yeah, it it looks so cool. I yeah. mean, both of them look awesome. I'll post pictures on this video so you can know what we're looking at. Um, I like the Patronus color. Yeah, that kind of goes down the side of it, yeah, and they have it. The accents on the wheel as well. It's like an electric blue. Yeah electric blue electric turquoise kind of color it's like a lightning bolt going down the side of the vehicle so it looks awesome and from what i've read they they run formula one pretty much really i mean they they are highly successful so we're just dumb and we didn't know about this brand it seems as though we are <laughs> dumb it, it's been around for a while apparently and they're doing real they're very successful in formula one which, like I said before, we don't really have it, so it's kind of a tough thing to really follow. But to be fair, we have NASCAR, and we know nothing about NASCAR. Oh, no, I think NASCAR is garbage, if you ask me, yeah, especially not, compared to Formula NASCAR One. Yeah. I mean, Formula One will ra race in the rain. They have wet tires mm -hmm. that have, like, traction on, like, uh, grooves in them. So, I mean, NASCAR, like, they'll stop for everything. Really? It's basically like soccer. Oh. It's the same same comparison. They stop for everything, uh, whereas this is more like a basketball game where it's constant. Like if it rains, they just change out the tires and they keep on going. Uh, so it's it's awesome. Um, if there's anything that we need to take a look at, any other Formula One vehicles or anything like that, or even any more videos regarding the Formula One race team, uh, definitely comment it down below. Um, beyond that, you got any extra? Yeah, uh, don't forget down in the description, the Patreon, $1. It'll definitely help us out, guys. So, with that being said, my name's Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.